Today's the day that changes everything for AI video. OpenAI have just released Sora. It's their text-to-video model. And it's fantastic. It's amazing. It's absolutely unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. I have downloaded every 16x9 clip on their website. And we're going to look at it now. Let's just get stuck into it. This is not a scene from Harry Potter. This is AI generated. Look at it, you wouldn't know this. This is AI generated too. It's 3D and it looks brilliant. It's outstanding. The fur, the detail, the water trails, the consistency. OpenAI says it can do 60 second video generations. This is a drone shot of a real place and the consistency of this model. We've seen nothing like it to date. This here looks as if it's in Tokyo or Japan or something like this and the people look a little bit big. But now the, it looks much, much better and, and that's just nitpicking. Y you couldn't tell, you couldn't tell that this is AI generated. Woolly mammoths in the snow. Look at the movement of their legs. This is as if it's slow, slow mo. Look at them as they're getting close. A woman walking again, I just mentioned about the movement. Look at this walk cycle, it looks so, so natural. People in the background moving too. This isn't breaking apart. Look at the lamppost, look the way it's it's going in, the, in like 3D space. It's just like a normal tracking shot of a model. This is, uh, look at the colours. This, this is game changing. This is absolutely incredible. I cannot get over just how good this is. And it's going on. This must be one of the 60 seconds I was talking about, or it must be very close. Here's detail. Look at the detail. Look at the close-up detail. Look at the reflection in the sunglasses. The way the earring just moves. Just her facial. This is crazy. We are now entering a time which things have just got scary. Things were scary before, but as of today, things have just got crazy. And again, if you wanted to 3D model something like this, it would take well, it would take me weeks and weeks and months and months and years and years. But and, and this 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 is another looks as if it's a 3D what looks like it's origami nearly. Look at that again. To make this an animation software would take a long time. Sora is doing this within minutes, and the future of filmmaking. It's just incredible. This looks like a GoPro shot of a basketball going through a basket and then fire. And then, well, that, that mucked up a wee bit at the end there. Another 3D render of a really cute creature with more cute creatures on what looks to be a toadstool. Look at this. This is not in my home country of Northern Ireland, but somewhere else. It's a drone shot. I'm a drone. Pa oh! Birds sitting on a branch with the water flowing by, just a pan and then shot. This is incredible, look at the beach. Look at the beach, what's going on here? Looks like someone's digging up a chair or digging up paper or don't quite know what's going on. But look at the people just coming into focus. Look at the people, this is, this is incredible. The, the chair looked as if it's floating a bit there, so it's, it's not perfect, but it's incredible. This is like a Chinese dragon with crowds and crowds of people. Just look at the background. Look at the people in the background I'm focusing on. They've got cameras, they're filming. This guy sitting on what might be a bus, looks a bit like Steven Spielberg. Look at the facial structure. Look at the hair. This isn't breaking down, not like Runway or Pika Labs or anything else we've been used to. This is, I'm, I'm going to say incredible like a bajillion times on this video, but that's amazing. And now we're looking at a close up of an eye you can look at the detail, you can see the skin particles, you can see the pores, you can see the reflection in the eye. And this here is, this is straight from a Disney movie, this here. Wouldn't want to mess with them. Lightning above the cloud and above Earth. Don't know what's going on there, but that's, that's incredible. That's just like some, that's like a clip from a 3D movie trailer, you would see. Speaking of a 3D movie trailer, Look at this guy, a kangaroo having a time of his life at a disco. And again, look at the background. 
characters and what's going on here neon dogs running through neon lights and again look at the movement of them we are witnessing history in the making here all this is 3d generated and that's just a flower it doesn't look too realistic and this is like a this is like an old western a drone shot kind of a ropey drone shot of an old western and you can see that the horses have the right number of legs they're moving consistently the buildings you can see kind of the the drone this is just incredible i'm speechless here this is Granny's birthday. Cam should blow out all the candles in one fell swoop. Nope, not even one. There's a dog on a windowsill of a place I would love to visit. Lovely and sunny, and just look at the movement. Again, this has just been released in the past few hours. This is the future of filmmaking. This is the future of TV production. Uh, stock websites are now a thing of the past. Mid journey, look at the sunset. Wow, it's even backlighting the, the buildings there. And a guy reading a book on what seems to be clouds, up in the clouds. This has changed the game forever. It looks like he's enjoying that book too. This is incredible, this is like a spaceman, or a guy on Earth. Again, look, look at the walk cycle, look at the close-up detail. It's just amazing, it's, it's just like you're watching a video, and you're actually watching history in the making with these clips. And we've got another few minutes of them to go. And this, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like that, this nearly looks like an opening scene from some kind of uh, TV advert. You can, and I don't know what it's for, but you can imagine the logo coming in the shot. Speaking of TV, a sci-fi robot. A few hours ago, if somebody had shown me this clip, I would have said it looks, it just looks like from a blockbuster coming out this summer and it's not and, and pretty soon this will be open to the general public. Chat GPT, OpenAI, change the game. DALI 3, I wouldn't say they changed the game with DALI 3, I think Mid Journey is still better than DALI 3. But this here text to video, look at that, look at the snow, the puppy in the snow having the puppies they have changed the game forever and this this is incredible and overnight overnight there's going to be people making tv ads there's going to be people making movies there's going to be people making tv shows and they're going to be so good quality you will not know the difference this is scary, scary good. If you want stock video from a construct construction site now, I think that wee bagel is going a bit mad. And let's look at that now. This is now seems to be the inside of a train or a bus, probably a train. And look at the reflections. Looks a bit fishy. Speaking of fishy. This is a dog living his best life, vlogging his summer holidays. The vlog camera looks a bit strange, but apart from that, everything else looks incredible. Even look at the waves in the background. This is more, this is a bit like a 2D animation. And again, that looks like a start of a film or some kind of advert. And all these videos, I downloaded them, they were 30 frames per second, not 25, not 15 like animation, 30 frames per sec, 30 frames per second, and it's, this is incredible. It's 
hard to, it's hard to know just what to say about some of these videos. Just look at the consistency of all these different wolves. Higher than at the moon. The moon is now setting, it would appear. Can the moon set? Don't think a moon can set, but you know what I mean? No, but there, there's a bag, it must have heard me. And even the trees and the grass. And then here is what looks to be a bit like a toy or something, but again, look at the reflections in the glass or on the gra the on the glass. And this this is a cat and a woman in bed. Cat's doing its best effort to get this girl up. And again, this is nearly like a drone shot, maybe an FPV drone. And look at the dust coming off. This is just incredible. This is incredible. I have been doing video work for over 20 years. I have been in motion graphics and it really, look at that for a drone shot. I don't think I would fly a drone as good as that and I'm a drone pilot and get a location like that and just move it, move it so smoothly. Maybe I'm a, <laughs> maybe I'm a bad drone pilot. The way, this is like, I was about to say it nearly looks too real and then you see something like this that clearly looks like a scene from Sharknado 66. If you have been following Mid Journey and AI art, the things you can do in that package, just imagine when this gets released to the general public, there'll be, I don't know, that is just like there's someone walking through an art museum not a very popular popular art museum because there's no one there and then a guy running backwards on a treadmill look at how shaky the cameraman is obviously in purpose and you can get all these prompts if you want to know what prompts were used for the making of these if you go to the OpenAI website I download all these videos and the prompts are there as well and that's the end of the video things have changed forever and I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos and I'll keep you updated when I do and everyone else gets access to this incredible, incredible game changing tool.